Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel and in this video I want to show you uh, the new applications that I wrote for Android phone and Android tablet that uh, emulates uh, the joystick, the uh, remote control that allows to control Robodog. This application uh, uh, have the same functionality that uh, the original uh, remote control. Uh, currently it's connected to the robot version 2 on the left and the remote control, physical remote control, connected to the robot on the right. And I can show you that I can control the robot on the right. And with the application on Android phone I can control robot on the left. Uh, actually, uh, uh, this application is not uh, such good as a physical controller because it doesn't have uh, joysticks uh, and uh, you can't feel uh, how much you move the joysticks and this creates uh, some an instability in uh, robot controlling. So I suggest to use a physical controller, it's much better than virtual one. Uh, but uh, if you don't want to create, uh, to spend time to create with uh, physical one, then you can just take the program and install it on Android phone and start controlling your robot. And one more warning, uh, if you will use this controller, then use it with caution because it's very sensitive and you can easily break a robot like I did just now. So use this controller with caution and try to not to break your robot. Or build this one that more reliable and uh, allow to control robot uh, more precisely. Uh, now let's talk how to install this application, uh, for example, on the tablet, and uh, let's see how it works. Uh, the installation file is available on my GitHub. Uh, check the links in the video description below. I already downloaded it to the uh, tablet, and now I will install it by clicking on the installation file. So I install it. application install and now I open it and um, uh, before uh, controlling the robot uh, you need to pair the tablet with the robot Bluetooth adapter so we will go to the uh, settings uh, Bluetooth settings uh, scan all the Bluetooth adapters uh, nearby and uh, my robot has HC05 I need to pair it it requests a, a password in most cases it, it, it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and now device is appeared uh, after that I can connect uh, my application to the robot for that I am using the menu connect, uh, select uh, the device that I paired and now robot is connected and I um, can control it by, by the virtual joystick. Uh, the joystick has the same functionality as that the, uh, the physical one, it has uh, three buttons on the left, one, two, three. Three buttons on the right, one, two, three, and two buttons uh, that correspond to the buttons on the sticks. Um, so, 
the left uh, sticks its uh, basic uh, control robot forward and backward. Uh, le left is rotate robot. Uh, right stick uh, move for robot uh, to the right or to the left. That goes forward. And uh, this one is lean forward and backward. Uh, this one returns the robot to the initial position, and this one uh, returned uh, the robot uh, uh, to parallel to the ground. Uh, these three buttons override the behavior of these joysticks. Uh, this one, uh, oops. And as you saw, uh, with the joystick you can easily drop your robot and even break it. So be careful when you're controlling your robot. So let's uh, continue. Uh, uh, this button overrides uh, the behavior of these joysticks and the new functionality will be uh, move up and move down, uh, lean left and lean right and you can center it. Uh, this one um, yeah, rotate it in this direction and when I move forward it's move robot forward and center it. And uh, this button uh, rotate robot in that direction. Center it and, and move in that direction. Uh, this button uh, make robot to sit. This button make to forward. And this button um, power off all zero motors. So, and after that we can return robot back and control it and power off. So, with this application you can control your robot uh, as with physical uh, controller, but the physical is much better because it has these joysticks, physical joysticks that you can feel and um, uh, sense how much you move your joysticks. Uh, but if uh, you don't want to build it, then use this one. The link uh, to this application you can find in the video description. Also, I created the uh, Ubuntu image uh, for Raspberry Pi 4, uh, just in case you don't want to install it by yourself. Uh, so, in this case, you can just also take the image, uh, write it to the SD card and uh, you need also just to connect the Wi-Fi. Uh, all the information you can find in the video descriptions below. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye!